Howdy there YouTube, Rob some knowledge here. Today we're going to be dropping some Photoshop knowledge on you guys, as you can probably tell by the title and the thumbnail and what's on screen now. But what we're going to be covering is how to remove red eye in pictures. And if you didn't know, just to dive a little bit deeper into the subject, what causes red eye? Well basically what causes red eye is when you take a picture, specifically with the flash on, when the flash goes off, the pupils of the person's eye, it doesn't have time to constrict to reduce the amount of light entering the eyes because that's what the pupil does. It regulates the amount of light that enters the eye. Kind of like a uh, camera aperture. So therefore, a uh, big burst of the light from the flash reaches the retinas, and then it reflects back, and then it's captured. So that's why it has that red appearance. Okay, I'm not going to go too deep into that. I'm going to make a whole other video on what causes red eye, and I'll post a link to that in the description if you're interested when it's made. But let's go ahead and dive into this. And also, this is the type of red eye we're talking about, like this. We're not talking about red eye from, you know, smoking too much of that chiba, the devil's lettuce, the broccoli, <laughs> you know. But anyways, off the silly stuff, let's get to the subject. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in on this girl's face a little bit just so we can see a little bit better. All right, and it's very, very simple to do. Okay, so you're gonna go over to your tool palette, and you're gonna go ahead and find your red eye removal tool. And it's typically gonna be right where like the spot healing brush is, healing brush. It looks like this, the little eye with the little plus sign. Click red eye tool. Okay, and then up here where it says pupil size and darken amount, you can kind of play around with these if you need to, but I typically leave both of them around 75%. And then simply all we're going to do is we're going to go down to the affected eyes. And sometimes it's only one eye depending on the angle of the picture, but this eye it's both of them as you can see. And what we're going to do is we're going to select the eye basically. And now when you select the eye, when you you want to select more than just a pupil, okay? Cuz as you can see that didn't really work at all. Okay, so I'm going to undo that. Even when you do that like bigger than the pupil, it's still a little bit of red. I don't know if you can see in there, but I'll zoom in some. You can still see some red on the outside. Like she's slowly turning into a demon. But let's go ahead and undo that again. Control Z. And what you want to do is you want to select an area bigger than the whole eye. So I normally take a square about the size of the whole eye, including the eyelid and stuff. Just like that. And as you can see, that's a lot, lot better. So then we're going to go ahead and do the same with the other eye. And then there you go. Now you're going to have a little bit of light in here, maybe from the light reflection. You can darken that in if you want to, just using a brush tool or something like that. Uh, but let's go ahead and zoom back out. And as you can see, compared to the original picture, that looks a heck of a lot better. That's about all for this tutorial, guys. Like I said, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, but some people still didn't know. So I figured I'd do a video on it. Uh, if you're interested in more of these Photoshop tutorials, please be sure to stay tuned because I'm going to be pushing out a lot, and I mean a lot of these in the near future. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It'll keep you updated. Hit the little bell notification icon too so you can make sure you get all my video uploads. That was my phone, sorry. But so you can get all of my video uploads. Because, you know, sometimes YouTube doesn't push them all out in subscription feeds. And also, another big thing is, I would like you to rate this video. I'm not telling you for sure to give it a thumbs up. Give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. If you think it deserves a thumbs down, hit the thumbs down button. But if you do hit the thumbs down button, I would appreciate some kind of comment telling me why you thought it deserved a thumbs down or what I did wrong or anything. I'm always looking for ways to improve the quality of my content for you guys. Because that's what I'm here for. Anyways, guys, that's it for this tutorial. Catch you guys next time. It's Rob. It's been a pleasure. Peace out.